One of the most powerful things that I had identified over the years um, was probably through when, I, when I, I wrote a book, I wrote a memoir about the first 30 years of my life. It had nothing to do with being a rock star and girls and drugs. You know, we've heard that story a million times if you're lucky enough to live through it. <laughs> um, but for me, I wanted to write about from the time I was born until I got a record deal because I thought those were really critical years for me to show people that we weren't born rich rock stars or successful people, that we came from the same gutters and ghettos that a lot of people struggle with. I think the thing that I identified just from writing out my life story in a sense and now being a dad as well, I'm a dad of a 15 year old girl um, which is very challenging. But you know I was, I was writing out all these pieces to my life and I realized the thread, the theme that was through my life that us as adults now, us as parents, us as mentors, right? We raise our children to win, you know, to be victorious. We want to pamper them, we want to coddle them, we want to make sure that they always win at air hockey and whatever it is, right? Because nobody wants to see your kids disappointed. But for me, I didn't have those opportunities and what it was was disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. But what we need to teach them is the people that get, you know, your life is going to knock you down to your knees many times. It's the people who can stand back up and continue to go forward that eventually Eventually that moment of success will line up for them. It's all about timing and sometimes there's a lot of luck involved. But you'll get there and you'll get your opportunity and what you do with it from that point on is really up to you. But you have to be prepared for disappointment. You have to know that you're not always going to get that job. You're not always going to do perfect in school. You're not always going to make the volleyball team or whatever it is. But it's the people that continuously stand up and go forward and say, you know what, we're going to do it, you're going to do it. And the best feeling in the world is to be able to go back to those people that continuously chop you down and hand them a big bag of I told you so's.